there's always been, you know, mm-hmm. bashings. And they knew that the community wasn't going to fight back. So mm-hmm. it was easy for them. Bludgeons over the skull with a pipe or a bat. They unlocked the apartment and everything, and then they found him dead. He was killed in the neighborhood and dumped up in the Bronx, in the South Bronx. And once again, we did nothing. I really don't remember the time. I know it was probably past midnight. And I got up to the voice, a desperate voice. Some guy comes running down 78th Street screaming they're killing somebody in the schoolyard. And he was crossing himself and saying, Jesus, help me, Jesus, help me. Bare chested, covered in blood. And I said to him, Julio, it's Alan, do you know who did this to you? And he shook his head no from side to side. Are you Ted Rivera? And I said, yes. Your brother is Julio Rivera? And I said, yes. He goes, uh, he was killed. We think it was drug-related. You know how these things are. None of the stated facts about Julio Rivera's murder made any sense whatsoever. The word from the police was that this was just a a trick gone bad or something. If this limited activities in the neighborhood, maybe it was a, you know, it was a feeling that some of the police might have thought was a positive thing. People had just had it and we're ready to fight back. We needed a direction to go. We needed somebody to help us. People came from Queens and they said, this has happened. And we're not getting any kind of response from the police. And it just feels like it's gonna get covered up. We need you to be the heavy artillery. And about 6.30, there were like four of us. And the, the, the feeling of like, you know, is that all there is? You know, God, please let somebody show up. 10 of seven, five of seven. Trains come in, E train and F train and R train, number seven train. All of a sudden, this sea of gay men and lesbians come walking up the stairs from the independent line, the, the uh, and down the stairs from the flushing line. And there's like hundreds and hundreds of people that never met Julio, that never heard the name Julio Rivera until I went and asked them to please come out to Jackson Heights.